evening. I am Justice Pauline Denise Ritchie, in capitis diminutio nolo, in proprio persona sujuris, in proprio solo and in proprio heredis. I wanted to do a quick video on the prepaid mailing process for all Moorish governments and nations at America. So here we go, quick video. We have been using this process for over a year and we've had absolutely no hindrances on it. So this is what you're going to need. A nine and a half by 12 inch envelope. Okay. Uh, you're also going to need one inch by two and five eighths inch Avery white address labels. Uh, I use this version right here, Avery 5260, but I also use Avery 8160 as well because it works just as well. They're very similar. So what we do is we get our green envelopes. Um, I'm sorry, our green certified mailing receipt and our green certified return receipt. And on these uh, address labels, we go ahead and pre-print up the Moorish American Consulate information. And then we also have this first class mailing that we print up. One side is without the United States, okay? And then on the other side, it tells that there's no postage necessary if mailed in the United States. In all that's in all capital letters. And that is for them. That's not for us. This side over here without the United States is, is the side that we acknowledge, okay? Um, and then we go ahead and pre-print on those same types of labels. Um, and in this case, we're gonna be mailing to Eric Rosengren, doing business as president, Federal Reserve Bank Corporation uh, in Boston or at Boston Corporation. So uh, what we do is we take these labels right here. I print three of them up, pull one of these labels off who, of who you're sending it to, put it on the front of the nine and a half, uh, nine by 12 inch envelope. That one goes here in the middle. This uh, prepaid postage goes in the upper right corner of the same envelope, okay? And then uh, the Moorish American Consulate um, label goes in the upper left corner. And then I take, uh, and the reason I print three of, of, of the sender ones is because I wanna use um, another one here. Let me get that cleared up. Uh, I wanna use another one and put it on the green prepaid uh, certified return receipt. And then the third one will go on to this, uh, part of the receipt, the return receipt. So this is the part we'll be, that they'll be signing and they'll be signing it and then we'll be getting it back um, in the mail, okay? So again, with this green uh, return receipt, I take the number off of here, I peel, because there's this number is usually across the top as well. So I peel that off and put it right here on this uh, green one that we're going to, and we're gonna attach this to this envelope, okay, to the rear of this envelope. But when you turn this one over, I also put the Moorish American Consulate uh, our, in all lowercase letters in red, of course. We put that on the reverse of that, okay? And again, this is the first class mail postage and fees paid uh, because as you know, everything has already been prepaid by us long and by our ancestors long before we got here, but we have solidified that um, and, and made the trust operational, the trust of the people, for the people, by the people, and of is spelled U-V and not O-V, O-F. Um, and those who take our classes know what that means. So um, we put that here and then we take this green envelope uh, I'm sorry, the green um, return receipt, and we peel the sticker part, the sticky part off. So let me go ahead and do that. Once we seal our envelope, we take this part off.
and then we put it I usually put mine right because this is where the envelope is sealed at I put it right across that part like that and this is again the rear of the envelope I usually put it there and then when you turn the envelope over okay now you have to put this uh, this is for my records so when you separate these two when you separate them um, I keep this one for my records and I and again I make the third uh, so that I know who I sent it to so let's set that aside we'll take this one and then we'll attach this one to the envelope so let's do that now and then we'll be ready to drop it in the prepaid uh, box at at the post office and this way we don't have to really even interact with the commercial side of the which is the postal service you know we don't really have to interact with them uh, unless the box is locked if the box the prepaid box is locked and here we're going to go ahead and attach this to the envelope and then I'll turn the envelope over so that the number can be seen okay so now this is what your envelope will look like when it's complete and ready to go into the prepaid box you'll have your Moorish American consulate here and notice that we don't have a zip code on here and then we do have a zip code but it's in brackets for them for whoever we're sending it to especially the corporations we have our tracking number here and we have our um, prepaid uh, postage here okay and then we're ready to go again and then on the rear you can as you can see so we're ready to go our records are good we keep this for our records and I usually just attach it to a copy of the document and then we'll go and place this in the prepaid mailbox so let's go do that okay so we made it to the post office there's the deposit prepaid packages here assigned and we're just going to go over and place it in. This is the prepaid bin. We just open it up, put our envelopes in there, and they go where they go. So again, Moors were not a part of the capitalist system, so we use the prepaid, and we don't have to talk to the uh, commerce part, which is uh, the, the foreigners who are in that front office. So we can do this whole thing without having to uh, deal with the commerce part. So having said that, again, it's always going to be prepaid and peace and grand rising to the Moors.